Alright, so as you know, Stacy and I are planning on going full-time RVing. Um, my employment takes us all over the country. We don't know whether we're going to be in the north or the south or wherever. So I spent several weeks on the internet getting bids on campers. Absolutely, hands down, saving, what, almost $10,000 over anybody in Texas for the camper that we wanted. And we chose a Cedar Creek 38 CK. Had the option for the dishwasher, washer and dryer, um, three super slides, 420 square feet, and loaded out with the generator, just absolutely everything. And the dealer in Texas was significantly higher, even after claiming that they'll beat anybody's price in the country. Jeff Coach's RV up here in Hamilton, Ohio, hands down the best deal in the country. Um, so you're going to be following Stacy and I for the next couple of years, I'm guessing, however long we're on the road. Um, and any issues we have, any whatever, you're going to find out everything about this camper. And from what I'm told, the way we ordered this Cedar Creek with the insulation package and you know, triple ACs, residential refrigerator, you know, you got to give your wife a dishwasher. You know, she hasn't had one in a year, so I figured it was only fair. Um, yeah, here we go. Let's get ready. We're going to do a walkthrough here in just a little bit, and uh, we're getting ready to go sign on the dotted lines. It's like Christmas. Oh my gosh, there she is. Got a covered bridge on the front. Simple. Okay, we're going in. She's a four stepper. No lights yet? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got butterflies in my tummy. Okay, it's dark. Can't see yet. I like the center counter. Oh, I didn't know there was a window right there. Okay. Okay, so we need to find out who's gotta... doing our checklist. Okay, I'll stay here and wait for you. You're supposed to carry me over the threshold. She had good luck. <laughs> Up the four steps. <laughs> Awnings on every slide, two reasons. One, it protects and makes sure that if it is a super heavy downpour or a lot of wind with it, it doesn't blow in through the seal. Extra protection. The only thing is, is if we're in North Dakota, if we're in North Dakota, we'll have to take and uh, make sure we keep the, keep the snow swept off of those. closet it's just storage and hanging clothes don't have the washer dryer hook up in here because you'll have it in the far slide of course connected to the bedroom extra chairs just right there it's like just a box for the tv i imagine if anything was to happen to it or anything okay uh the lights are all led lights a lot of them are just push button lights okay control on the push button nice. itself mm -hmm. it's sink or anything like that well they're basically on a pressure limit switch it's just the, the box in there senses it all by itself so i mean if one side came in it would stop and bring in the other side and that's how they like, sort of bring themselves in so you really don't have any problems if you had a problem you'd have to change the whole electronic box and everything that goes in. okay powered on when you're on zone one zone one is everything in the rear here okay. i'll show you how to go to zone two that is just going to operate that bedroom ac so we're going to test 
the washer and the dryer. We gotta get the water hose fixed so the water isn't leaking. Change this. My thoughts are this, do a very thorough walkthrough. Most any good reputable RV dealer is going to do, make you do a walkthrough anyway. These guys over here at Jeff Coach's RV, top notch, treating us very, very well. It's like rolling out the red carpet for doing this walkthrough. Um, along with anything, whether it's a new car, new truck, new house, you always find little minor things. and. Uh, the list of minor things is extremely small in comparison to what I have seen some other people have to go through. I think we have, and, and it's just little minor cosmetic flaws. So no major anything. Everything functions. All three ACs work. The instant hot water works. Refrigerator works. Everything's working. So while they're finishing putting in the hitch in the truck, we're going to finish going through the little details and getting ready for Memorial Day weekend. And I hear the water. It still says H2O, but it is water going in. Well, so far, I'm pretty ecstatic. Um, just some little cosmetic things that they're taking care of for us and I've got six minutes left on the washer and I'll test out the dryer but um, this is our new home and I'm so excited I can't wait to move our stuff in I can't wait I can't wait Yay. so we're headed to the office and we're gonna sign papers and do all the final details of the paperwork and um, here we go Make sure our four back stabilization jacks are up. water in your system I need to drain out. That's tight. Because when you go to like... What's the name of our channel? It's like Christmas. You're supposed to carry me over the threshold. She had good work. <laughs> stuff. This stuff. Sold enough stuff and gave away enough stuff. Stuff. All of that stuff. So when the ditch stuff, extra stuff, loading up our stuff. For yeah. What God, we're getting old. Look at this. All the gray. <laughs> I just feel old. That's all I feel when I see a camera. Oh, well, that's why I stay blonde. <laughs> Replacing the up, to, up tubes. Stacy's trying to get naked over here, no, so not. it's, it's uh. I wore a sweatshirt. I should pull it up, honey. Set them free. You don't have to hurt my feelings. It better save us some money. That's all I got to say. Better save us some money, Larry. Thank you for following along on our RV adventures. Um, we're just getting started. <clears throat> Let me do that again. I like my nails. I don't know if I like them yet. I'm kind of a pink gal myself, so it'll grow on me. So what is this thing I've been telling everybody about that you're installing? We'll do this in the house. And then I'll give all the details. Edge juice with attitude. But anyhow, um, but anyhow. Let's go. So.
So this is our adventure. We are getting ready to do full-time RV living and we wanted to make sure that we're bringing you on our journey so that you can experience it right along with us in case this is something you are considering. The one thing I do want to do is upgrade the toilet. That's not what you Sitting on plastic is just not my thing. I'd rather have porcelain, something solid underneath me. <laughs> then we got to have a heated seat. Now, if we're going to do this, just go all the way. Heated seat, you know, why not? It's already got a hose. You can wash your butt over the toilet. That no, way. it's not for washing your butt. Should, yeah, it is. No. It's a bidet. It's a hose. Yes, it is. I've been to India. Haven't you been over there? I have been to Italy and there's bidets, but the RV, that's not oh, a bidet. India, they have the toilet and then they have a hose right there to wash your ass. No. Yeah. In my book, that's to wash the toilet, not your person getting the shower. It's, it's clean water. No, he might need a blindfold. Probably works better in the dark. Yeah. And, uh, oh shit. Well, what do they need to do to not miss out on our adventure? Yeah, I was getting that part. <laughs> I didn't, don't need to be prodded. I'm not Obama. I don't need a teleprompter. Yeah, so uh, be sure to like and subscribe below. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask anytime. Um, you know, you can follow some of our stuff on Facebook. Uh, I have my page, Larry Overman. Stacy has hers for Stacy's Angel Kisses. And then you can have our joint page, which is, you know, the ghost of mine, Larry and Stacy Overman. Um,